We are at war. That's what the Secretary of Defense told Congress as he announced more American ground forces will be sent to battle ISIS in Syria and Iraq. About 200 special operations troops will launch raids from a base in northern Iraq. The troops' mission will be to capture ISIS leaders and gather intelligence. Charlie Daggett, a recently returned from Iraq, he's outside Britain's parliament in London where lawmakers will decide today whether to expand that country's air campaign. Charlie, good morning. Good morning to you. And that debate is just underway behind me. Now, Prime Minister David Cameron made clear where he stands on the issue, saying anyone who votes against airstrikes in Syria is a terrorist sympathizer. And this all comes as the U.S. is about to dramatically step up efforts on the ground. If the vote goes through as expected, British tornado fighter jets like these will join the U.S.-led air campaign against ISIS targets in Syria within days. But it is on the ground that the United States is about to take the fight to ISIS. The Pentagon has announced that about 200 special operations forces will be deployed to the northern Iraqi city of Erbil. From there, they will conduct raids in both Iraq and Syria. Defense Secretary Ash Carter told Congress the new forces will help gather intelligence and hunt down ISIS leaders. Uh, this is an important capability because it takes advantage of what we're good at and it puts everybody on notice. In a bid to save face and aimed at the Iraqis themselves, Iraq's Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi said his forces were capable of defeating ISIS without the help of foreign combat troops. Secretary of State John Kerry said the Iraqis were fully briefed. We will continue to work very, very closely with our Iraqi partners on exactly who would be deployed, where they would be deployed. The Iraqi military appears poised to face a critical test, the take back of the city of Ramadi. TV announcements have warned civilians in Ramadi to evacuate their homes immediately, while ISIS militants are reportedly threatening to kill anybody who tries. A success in Ramadi may help prove that months of airstrikes, along with capable ground forces, are having an impact on ISIS militants. But in an interview with Czech television, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad said airstrikes from the U.S. and its coalition allies were having the opposite effect. Since the beginning of that coalition, ISIS has expanded and the recruits from around the world has increased. In all likelihood, the skies over Syria are about to become even more crowded. They'll have a 10-hour debate here, then they'll vote. It's widely expected the prime minister will get the go-ahead to pull the trigger. Christine? Charlie Daggett in London, thank you.